Leroy's was born in Hamtramck, Michigan to Polish immigrants in 1927. Having lost both parents at a very early age, it fell on her then 15-year-old sister Mary to find Stella suitable guardians. She took me to the family of the sister of the kindergarten teacher. Unfortunately, there was a drinking problem in that family. We moved several times. We lived in Lansing, we lived in Farmington, we lived in Plymouth. Stella initially lived with an aunt before Mary took her to live with the Luno family on a farm between Belding and Greenville around 1940. To get to school in the morning, I had to walk uh, about a half a mile to get a ride at 6.30 in the morning with a gentleman who drove to Greenville. Every once in a while, I would miss my ride home and I'd have to walk home. Unfortunately, this wasn't the best situation. But her fate changed when Betty Burns called Greenville High School seeking a student to help her and her husband, Tom. Well, it was a lovely German lady and her husband. He was in a wheelchair. We played a lot of card games with him, and cleaning the house seemed like a small price to pay for the pleasure of having my own room and being able to attend school and live a, a normal life. Stella graduated from Greenville High School in 1944 as salutatorian. Through the support and generosity of another Greenville family, the churches, Stella was able to attend the University of Wisconsin, where again, she graduated with honors. Fluent in Spanish and interested in international relations, she served as a secretary in the Foreign Service in the Dominican Republic in Mexico City. It was just a wonderful, wonderful life. Mexico was a four-year post. My two years is up. So on my vacation, I went to Washington to see if I could be transferred. And they said, no, you got to stay two more years. So before I went back, I stopped in Grand Rapids, where the people that had loaned me money to go to college had moved. I went to church with them on August 23rd, and that's when I met Chuck. After a brief courtship, they made arrangements to marry a few months later in Mexico City. Their marriage began a 62-year partnership, which included raising four children, operating a family business, the Royce Rolls Ringer Company, and sharing a deep love for and commitment to the West Michigan community. My parents loved to help people. My mother lost both of her parents before she was five years old, and she never forgot the community members who stepped up and helped her make her way there was never a question about how they were gonna participate. It was just a question of how much they could contribute. And the uh, success of the business allowed them to, to do that. And she worked at it every day. From her very first days in Grand Rapids, Stella, a lifelong music lover and soprano soloist, was involved at St. Cecilia Music Center. After all, she married into a family that traces its involvement at the center back to 1913. Chuck grew up roaming the halls and tunnels of this historic building with his brother while their mother attended committee meetings and concerts. When I think about my mom's influence on our musical lives, I'm struck by the ways she found to encourage and support us. She found opportunities for us to be around professional musicians, which made it seem entirely possible to pursue a career in music. My own personal music journey I honestly wouldn't exist without my mom, who was always talking about it, always encouraging us, always talking about how we might be able to participate. Stella became a performing member of St. Cecilia in the 1950s, served on the board of directors, and volunteered countless hours for various projects and campaigns. In 1986, recognizing the Royce's incredible decades-long generosity, St. Cecilia Music Center dedicated its performance hall to the family with the naming of Royce Auditorium. My mother understood the difference that music could make in a person's life. She also understood that having opportunities to hear, perform, or learn about music didn't just happen. She helped start the piano education program at the Y that is now here, I believe. It was always about education as far as she was concerned, and yeah, why not create it if you have the opportunity? As avid supporters of arts and culture throughout West Michigan, Chuck and Stella Royce donated time and treasure to nearly every other major arts institution in Grand Rapids and the surrounding region.
jointly. Chuck and Stella also receive local, state, and national recognition for their arts philanthropy. Today, Stella Royce's love for the arts and West Michigan is reflected through her family and continues to leave an everlasting impact on so many lives. They always supported me. They came to a lot of my concerts. Whenever I was performing with the Philharmonic at St. Cecilia, they showed up. They took me to my first opera. He said, you know, wear a suit. And I said, I don't have a suit. And he said, uh, well, what do you have? And I said, I have a tux. And he said, well, we're wearing tuxes. And so he showed up in a tuxedo and I had a tuxedo. We were the only people at Grand Rapids Opera in tuxes that night. But I remember saying, that's really cool. I'd like to do that. And now I've performed uh, around the world teaching voice and singing opera. Uh, Chuck and Stella Royce are a huge part of my life and always will be in St. Cecilia is the reason that I'm doing what I do. I learned from Chuck to not be afraid to talk to anyone and how to talk to people. And I learned from Stella the importance of listening. The arts are essential for a prosperous, quality community. And Stella Royce was really a factor in all of that. The most beautiful operatic voice, the enthusiasm for all musical genres. I think both of my parents would be so pleased to know that the arts continue to flourish in West Michigan. The notion that you could just show people how to participate, I see as totally something that they specialized in. She loved every minute of it. Stella has had such an amazing impact on us and on how we do things here, and I know that she has done that for so many other organizations in this community. So we are so pleased to be honoring Stella with this award.